Hi there, welcome back. This time, we will create a 3D travel map animation with the Fusion 3D tools in DaVinci Resolve. Here in the timeline is a map I got from Google, the duration is set to 15 seconds for this demo. Go to the Fusion page, in the viewer we can see that the composition is set at resolution of the image, which is good, because we will need the extra detail from a high resolution map. But for the composition itself, we want the resolution to be the same as the timeline, which is 1080p. Add a background node from the toolbar to the node editor. In the inspector, change the background to transparent by setting alpha to zero. Go to the image tab, uncheck the auto resolution. Enter the timeline resolution in the width and height fields. Disconnect media in from the media out node, merge the median's output with the background's output. Connect the merge node to the media out node. Now we have a cropped map in the viewer, and the resolution is changed to 1920 by 1080. Before we proceed, add a color corrector node after the media in node. Go to the inspector and lower the lift value, reduce the saturation, so that the map looks a bit sharper. Next we will compose the 3D scene with the map in. Drag an image plane 3D node to the node editor from the toolbar. While the plane node is selected, click Merge 3D button and Render 3D button in the toolbar. The nodes are now connected automatically. Drag the color corrector's output connection from Merge 1 to the image plane's green material input. Connect the Render 3D output to the Merge 1's green foreground input. And we now see a smaller map in the viewer, which is the 2D presentation rendered by the Render 3D node. Select the Merge 3D node, press 1 or drag it to the left viewer, and we have the scene available for edit in a 3D view. In this demo, we will use the Fusion Paint tool to create a flight route from Las Vegas to Chicago. From the toolbar, drag and insert a paint node between the corrector and the image plane node. Press 2 or drag it into the right side viewer. We can close the left 3D viewer to have more workspace. In the viewer toolbar, select the polyline stroke tool. Draw a curved line from Las Vegas to Chicago. Once it's done, we can mark the line as final by clicking this lock button in the toolbar to avoid further changes. Go to the inspector, change the stroke color and size as you like. To add some 3D look for the line, we will draw another line underneath as the shadow. Choose the polyline stroke tool in the toolbar, draw another line from Las Vegas to Chicago. We can also give the shadow line a bit curve to reflect the shape of the main line. In the inspector, change the color to black, adjust the opacity, size and softness to have the best shadow look as we like. But when we look close, we see that the shadow line is over on top of the first one because the shadow was drawn after. To address this, select the paint node, go to the modifiers tab in the inspector, drag the title of polyline stroke one to an empty area at the bottom below the polyline stroke two. The shadow is now underneath the main line. We now have the flight route line complete. We will keyframe the right on parameters to animate the strokes. Move the playhead to frame 30, mark keyframe for the right on parameter of stroke 1, change the end value to 0 so the line disappears. Go to frame 180 and change the end value to 1 so the line is fully drawn, a keyframe is added automatically. Repeat the same steps for stroke 2 keyframing its right on parameter from frame 30 to frame 180. Open the spline editor, select all keyframes and click the smooth button to smooth the curves. Play the clip. I think this is good. Bring the media out node to the viewer and switch to two viewers mode. 
Select the Merge 3D node in the Node Editor, click the Camera 3D button to add a camera to the 3D scene. Select the Camera node. In the Viewer, pull back the camera so that the map is visible in the right viewer. Go to the Inspector, open the Transform tab. Enable the Use Target option, which makes it easy to position the camera. Select the Image Plane 3D node, press Shift Space to open the Tool Selection window, search for the Bender 3D node and add it to the editor. Go to the Inspector, set the axis to X, and change the angle to 90. Adjust the amount to minus 0.2. If we examine the bending quality, we see that the curve is not very smooth. Select the Image Plane node in the Inspector, increase the subdivisions to 40. Now it looks good. Move the playhead to frame 30, where we started the flight route animation. Select the Camera node. Move the target point close to Las Vegas. Adjust the camera position so that the final result in the right viewer looks like the bird view of areas around Las Vegas. Go to the camera's transform tab in the inspector, right-click the translation, select Animate Translate Group to add keyframes of the X, Y and Z parameters. Also mark X, Y, Z keyframes of the target group. Move to frame 180, where the line animation stops. Adjust the camera target point and position, so that the view focuses on the destination Chicago. The new keyframes are automatically added for the new camera position at frame 180. When we play the clip, the camera movement is not in sync with the line animation, we need to do some more camera adjustment along the way. Move the playhead to the middle of the animation, around frame 100, Change the target point and position until it's matching the moving line. Open Spline Editor. In the Option menu, check Show Only Selected Tool. Click Zoom to Fit button to show all keyframes in the view. Press Ctrl A to select all keyframes. Click the Smooth button to smooth the camera moving path. Play the clip. This looks good now. Next we will add a 3D map location icon floating above Chicago. Select Merge 3D node, click the Text 3D button in the toolbar to add a 3D text node to the scene. In the inspector, change the font to Web Symbols Liga, a free font I downloaded online. Enter U as the text, which is the location icon. Change the color to orange, size to 0.2. In the 3D viewer, right-click and uncheck the Show Camera option, so it's easy to work on the icon and avoid changes to the camera. In the Text 3D Transform tab, rotate 90 degrees on the X-axis. Move the icon so that it appears over Chicago. Seems still too big, we can adjust the scale parameter to resize the icon. Go back to the Text tab, change the extrusion depth, Adjust the bevel to create a 3D icon. Seems like nothing happens. Click this lighting icon in the 3D viewer's toolbar, we can see a 3D icon, but not in the 2D result. Select Merge 3D node, click the Spotlight button to add a spotlight to the scene. Pull back the spotlight until the full map is well lighted. Select the Render 3D node, enable lighting and shadows in the inspector. We now see the 3D icon floating above, but it's a bit dark. Keep adjusting the light position until we have the result we like. I think this is good for the demo. To make the travel map a bit more appealing, we can keyframe the icon so that it falls down as the line is reaching the destination. To highlight our destination city, we can draw and animate a circle as the location icon hits the ground. You can also adjust the circle layer position if needed. If the icon doesn't look very straight up, we can select the Merge 1 node and rotate the image to get it corrected. 
All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.